This morning we're working a relatively new selection of mine uh, in the Peacock line. Uh, I call them Sky Blue. Uh, it's early in the process and we lost our best breeders in the Texas winter storm. We set up a small breeding colony. We had 16 females. We got how many? You didn't add them up. Okay. Got over a hundred juveniles, uh, one of a lot of interest. I'll go through that in a minute when I go through some of the genetics on this uh, fish. Things get really complicated genetically when you hybridize and uh, peacocks are hybrid cichlids, mainly uh, from the genus Alonicara, but some other uh, genera. Genera is plural for genus. Uh, so that, you, know, it's got, you can get complicated. There's, uh, reminds me in, in Zephophorus maculatus, which is a species of platy, library fish uh, from Central America. The, uh, if you crawl, some populations, the males are XO. They don't have a Y chromosome. They just have one X chromosome. Other populations are XY. And there's even a population where females are XO. Uh, you cross these and you get all kinds of weird sex ratios. Uh, uh, o meaning that there isn't a Y chromosome or another X chromosome. Uh, females inherit an X chromosome from their father and from their mother, whereas males in, uh, get an X chromosome from their mother and a Y chromosome from their father. The Y chromosome has very few genes on it. For example, in humans, I think there's only 30 or 40 genes on the Y chromosome, whereas the X chromosome has thousands. Uh, Explains but, women's superiority. Uh, Susie's making some weird comment they're going to ignore. Uh, the, the genes on the, in humans and probably in most vertebrates on the Y chromosome are uh, involved in testosterone uh, production and testosterone sensitivity. There's a, a syndrome in humans where you can be XY, genetically male, that you, your X chromosomes miss has a faulty gene for sensitivity to Y, uh, to testosterone, and you don't, you don't, you, while you produce testosterone, you don't react to it, so uh, physically you appear to be female. Uh, all the various parts uh, female parts are, are female. Uh, the only way you know that you're uh, not female is by doing genetic testing uh, and finding out that you have a Y chromosome. Okay, well back to this fish. Um, it's not quite what I imagined yet. Let's take a look at the three breeders I picked and I'll discuss their faults. So I went to I picked out the ones that had the least amount of gold. Wipe the glass off here. Settle down, guys. And they're not bad. They just have a little bit of gold. That's that's an injury on that one. Uh, and I don't mind the gold uh, pectorals like on that fins, like on that fish. I don't mind some gold stippling in the tail, but I want a solid blue body. And these guys are getting close and. Uh, given a few more generations, we'll get what we want. What I'll do is these three males will father the next batch of, of offspring. We had 16 original females, and I added, let me look at the chart. I added another 26 uh, young females. And let's take a look at the females, and I want to talk about some, well, let's, since we're talking about males, let's look at what I don't like in, in uh, males and why these are rejects. The two smaller ones I'm putting in here are, are youngsters that are going to be golds. See, this guy's more of a gold than a blue. Same thing here. So these guys are going to go in with our gold peacocks to be sold. We're going to discuss females in a second here. We, these two young males are going to be very gold and not very blue. 
okay that while we're doing it let's take a look at this one you get surprises that is a spectacular little fish she's going to go into what we call our bre that let me get some cool water for these guys they've been in that bucket a long time We're going to look, take a look at him again in, in about four months and see what he looks like. One of the surprises you get. Okay, let's look at females and we'll talk about a little bit more genetics. I'm going to put an assortment of females in there. Okay, uh, when I'm selecting females, if I had a lot of females to select, I would not use this one. It's too gold. I would prefer fish like this, a pale fish. They throw the better sky blues, my experience with our the sky blue OB line. So I might pick that female. I would reject that female. I'd reject that female. But today we don't have any uh, any real choice. Those are greater males. Um, Let's go ahead and get these guys to their back. Oh, I did want to look, see this fish. That is a, what we call a blue peacock, or you know, uh, it's going to be kind of nondescript. Genetically, it uh, does not have the dominant gene, or more technically dominant allele for this light colored body, the, the goldish to light, uh, to light body. And that means, uh, let's see, in, in our approximately 100 juveniles we got out from the breeding colony, there was one blue, one gray-bodied fish like this. So at least one of our breeder males and one breeder female are carrying the recessive allele for blue. Kind of interesting because typically uh, gold and, and stuff is a recessive allele, not a dominant allele. But, and the fish like this one and uh, dragon bloods, the light body is dominant to the gray body. Okay, so let's, I want to put these guys up real quick. This water is getting kind of warm. Uh, the system water stays in the mid 80s, but the air temperature right now is 105 in here. So I'm going to walk down and put these guys up. Reduce the stress on them. The interesting, see if y'all can hear me this far away from the, uh, the deal. I'm putting them in their vat, which has been set up for breeding. I want to listen to this video at some point and see if you hear me. Okay. Susie, are you showing that my voice is coming through? Oh, you don't know? Okay. We'll find out whether y'all heard me down there. Okay, so we're putting this little guy in what we call the DRU vat. These are four males are going to our uh, gold male vat. Let's see. Somebody. wrote over my stuff, Susie. Okay. Uh, anyway, it's kind of interesting genetics. If I had all the time in the world and facilities, I could do some test crosses that would tell me exactly what the genetics is. For example, I don't know whether the, the interaction between gold and blue, that sky blue is. I don't know which is dominant, which is recessive. I don't know if there's m multiple genes involved. Uh, obviously, there's some complicating factors because you get fish that are sky blue with gold on them. So uh, so the, those two genes are not exclusive. Not One of them's not dominant to the other one. So I suspect it's at least two different genes, maybe multiple genes involved in that. Uh, it would be interesting to do the one-to-one -one matings to determine what that is, but uh, we don't have the time 
uh, no other facilities to do that. Okay, good fish keeping.